All right, let me just make sure the microphone's on. Pretty sure it is. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm still not 100% sure how this should work. The microphone should be working today. It should. Uh, let's start from the first one. That is perfectly fine. <clears throat> but Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time. I shall reign triumphant. We are closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex. Dr. Cortex, the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> It stops. Okay. I actually played this game not too long ago. Because the game's not that old now. Never got all the way through it, though. I do know it's kind of frustrating compared to, like, the other games in the collection, because... Apparently what they decided to do was give every game in the collection the same physics as Crash 3. But they didn't change level designs to account for it. So what ended up happening is... The t timing for a lot of the platforming that was specifically designed to work out... ...no longer quite works out the way it was intended to. Oh, come on, really? Now it's just a death perception issue. Also, here, feels... I wonder if this game has a performance mode. A lot of games do. Especially, like... Well, I guess PS5 games do, too, but especially, like, PS4 games designed after the Pro. You'll be able to choose between, like, graphical fidelity and... ...frame rate. Always choose frame rate. I don't know if this game actually has that, though. After this level, I'll check. Shit! <laughs> Almost didn't quite make it. There you go. Not sure what that means. Oh, okay. So...
Oh. Save option. Okay. Is there a way to, like, back out? Quit. There we go. <clears throat> oh, where's options? Is there no options? I guess not. Okay. It is what it is. Pretty sure that should have still exploded. Short. a lot of focus into this, sorry. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> now, Crash is one of those games. I had a PlayStation when it was new. But I never really played Crash. Like, I might have put a game in once or twice. But I never really sat and played it. I was always preferred Mario 64. Which, honestly, I think applies to most people. Like, nothing against Crash, but... It was competing with freaking Mario 64 at the time. Like, no, you're not winning that battle. I'm not one of those purists who think that Mario 64 is the end-all, be-all of 3D games or anything. The game has actually aged quite a lot by this point. There's a many better games out there. But for the time, yeah. You were playing Mario 64. Unless you didn't own an N64, in which case, yeah, I could see. I could absolutely see Crash being like your go-to. I missed some, whatever. I'm not being com too much of a completionist about it. If I see a crate, I will smash it. If I don't see a crate, I'm not gonna go hunting. The Great Gate, otherwise known as the Great. No, it's not known as that. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure you weren't supposed to be able to get that without jumping. Or without bouncing off of those crates. The fact that you can... Means that, yeah, the physics in this game are not matched to the level design. <laughs> like, nothing is just out of reach. When I'm pretty sure it's supposed... Okay, that is, but... You coming down? There you go. Took a minute. <clears throat> I'm building up a lot of lives, but I know at some point I'm actually going to need them. This is not one of those super easy games you blow through. It's just not. Does have a decent difficulty curve though. Like it's not super hard right off the bat because the controls are bad or anything. It gets hard because the levels get hard as games should be. Oh yeah, I missed like ten boxes. It's a level everyone knows from Crash. That was closer than I would have liked. Comfortably close. Oh, I got the gem. Why did I get the gem? Okay, I'm not complaining. I almost certainly didn't get all the crates. Huh. I guess in that one, it's not about getting the crates. It's just about getting through without getting without dying. Is that how that works? I most certainly didn't get through there without dying once last time I played. I'll admit that, I did not. I'm 99% sure those fall at some point. Because that's how games work. Shit, 
shit, that one's timed. Oh, crap, I didn't even notice that. Okay. <laughs> that one doesn't respond to you, it just closes. One? How about the other one? Should have been two, right? What happened to other life? There were two life boxes at the end there. Alright. <clears throat> Flawless victory. Only missed three boxes. You actually unlock something for getting all of the boxes? I have no idea. 